From farmland, horses and cattle, and oil, this is the Wagoner Ranch. I started here as a single man and uh, at the very bottom, of course. But over the past 25 years or so, Weldon Hawley's worked his way up here on the Wagoner Ranch, a place he loves very much. Oh, it's just wonderful, you know. There's not any car traffic or anything like that. It's awful quiet and uh, there's not any of the hassle and, and things that you run into in the city environment. This is a home that I live in here. And it's a home that's seen much of the history and tradition here. It was actually W.T. Wagoner's father, Dan Wagoner, who started this ranch with solid labor way back in 1849 before moving it to its permanent location in the late 1870s. Yes, really, the, the cowboy life and the style and the ranching life uh, hasn't changed hardly at any. It's all hard labor. Yes, there's just physical labor with what we do. We ride horses a lot, and typically the way we work the cattle is pretty much the same as we always did. This is a bunkhouse. This is where the single men live. Next to it would be our cook shack. Is this like an old chuck wagon cooking? Yes, they're very similar. Uh, we still use the chuck wagon a couple of times a year, but... Well, we're not out on the west end or where we're so far away. Well, Debbie cooks all of our meals here. Well, I get up at 3.15. I'm over here by 3.30. I have their breakfast ready at 5. Um, then I start lunch at 8, and I try to have their lunch ready by 11.30. My son's grandmother, right. she, they taught me. Started when I was 12. And Deborah Douthat makes most everything from scratch for a very hungry crew. I do not use instant mashed potatoes. I make my pies. You know, um, it's a lot of steak and gravy and potatoes and beans. That's, Your comfort food. It's comfort food. Very fattening. <laughs> yeah. Northeast quarter of it has oil and gas production on it, about 140,000 acres. Well, on the W.T. Wagner estate, we've got the Lake Kemp. Uh, we've got Lake Diversion down the Wichita River. Todd Thomas is manager and geologist for Wagoner's Oil Division. Started in 1908, it's a very important part of the estate, especially again now with skyrocketing oil prices. You know, that's been one of the beneficial things about the Wagners. We have multiple resources uh, of natural resources, both the cattle and the oil and gas and the farmland. So it's been, you know, each one of them has carried their load through the years. Besides farming and ranching and all that that entails and the oil business, those here at the Wagoner Ranch are extremely proud of their horses. In fact, just across the road sits this memorial to Poco Bueno, the first quarter horse ever to be insured for $100,000. When Poco died in 1969, he was buried right here, standing up. And when Mr. Wagner bought that horse, I think he bought him as a yearling. And you know, he kept him for a while and he had a bunch of really good brood mares. And somehow the cross on the bloodlines that he had in Pocoano really worked really well. <laughs> In fact, breeding manager Trace Cribb says that same bloodline lives on today. <laughs> he feels good. He's a really, really pretty moving horse. You know, he keeps his tail down and his neck's low. And he's, he, we've actually shown him in reigning competitions. He's earned money. And we're an anomaly. For one thing, we're a true working ranch. We've been around for so long, and you cannot purchase history like that. It's a family organization, and, you know, uh, they've been with me through the whole time that I was raising my family and everything. And the family, that's, they held this ranch together, maintained it, and it's been, you know, very hard over the years to do so, and it's pretty much just like it was. There hasn't been an acre sold to it. Which keeps this true working ranch at about the size of Rhode Island, here before its surrounding towns across six counties. The legendary Wagoner Ranch is more than half a million acres of prime Texoma real estate. Daryl Franklin, KFDX3 News.